guys welcome back to another episode of city skylines we have a little bit more land over here that we can still expand to so i wanted to do that today and put in a port um well a ferry uh ferry stop over here uh, it looks like it could be low enough where we could put one in so i think we could fit one in here maybe we'll have to uh flatten it a little bit but it should be fine probably go with a small one so we have a little bit more room to do this with so we'll do that and we'll just kind of fill this in a little bit perfect all right and then we'll smooth it out just to make it look a little bit nicer on the rings and then we'll need a way up there so we'll probably go ahead and place down the ferry service first and we can take it from there. Now, I'm not sure how it's going to work with the garbage pickup. If garbage can pick up through the things or not. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Um, because I haven't really seen... I've seen police cars and stuff go through here, but not garbage collection. So, I'm not sure if um, garbage collection will be able to go through here or not. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Just have to keep an eye on it, I guess. Um, though the port seems to be working. We'll have to, like, fast forward or something in order to see what's going on with it. But let's get this one operational first, and then we can take it from there. So we'll bring a um, pedestrian road up to that point, I think. Uh, we should probably go ahead and add a little bit more lines over here. And we'll do a... curly thing like that. That looks smooth enough, I think, it which should be fine. And we're going to need power and water. So, probably have to bring a... Actually, if we bring a um, city thing down this way, like, expand the city, then it should be fine. I'll we'll have to do some tweaking and stuff, but it should be fine if we expand it a little bit. Okay, but we will need water. And we'll turn this off.
so I solved one of the problems that we're having with the trash collection over at this place over here. Um, <clears throat> so it turns out that these facilities need to actually be emptied. So they can't, garbage trucks apparently can't go through the service, service way or the um, thing. Only service vehicles like fire engines, death care, um, ambulances, police cars, those things uh, can go through, but um, not uh, garbage, apparently. So that's why everyone over here is basically complaining for uh, garbage pickup. Um, this one, this, this site over here is pretty easy to fix. That's not going to be an issue. Um, we can just put a recycling center down. We have a rail export, so that's not going to be an issue. But uh, we do need to resolve this issue so we can get that. Now, the other problem that we face now, now that I got this all set up, is these things don't get garbage collection because they're basically having the same issue because garbage trucks can't go through here. Uh, they have these ded dedicated basically points where the garbage is collected which makes sense these ones here are basically our garbage collection so those trucks don't actually go through here which is kind of bad in a sense because it would have been nice for them to go through but it's understandable I guess so we're gonna need a couple lines of roads uh, we could connect it up um, through here we could do a line over that way across the rails or something like that and then connect it up to there that would be an option um, the only problem with that is we're going to need to make sure that traffic doesn't constantly go through here so I'm not entirely sure what ones we could go with for that Highways are an option. Actually, that might help with speeding up the process a little bit. Let's see if we can't set up a, a simple highway system through here. Just a double lane. Is this a double lane? Two lane highway. Yeah, there should be a double lane one right here. Okay, so we're going to have to redo some of these rocks and stuff too, right? So that's going to be a little bit unfortunate, but it will be necessary necessary to do and we're gonna have to bring that all the way along there I guess
And so basically what I've been doing is putting in some schools and stuff for this area so we can start um, working on getting a little bit more of this area built in. So basically what I wanted to do was do the same thing that we did, or was it, I think it was over, over here maybe? Where we did the little fields and stuff, the schools and stuff like that. I wanted to try doing that a little bit more over on this area with these schools. So basically that's what I've been doing is I'm just setting that all up so I can get um, up there. So I wanted to bring it along here. Not sure if we'll be able to, yeah, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. So. Uh, let's try redoing that one. So I wanted the park fence. And it won't let us go all the way that way. We might need to move the school a little bit. So we'll move this over. One block there and then we'll move that back over. And then what we can do is we can bring that fence down, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we can bring that all the way down to, I would say about here, and then over to that way. It's not exactly the same kind of fence, but it's close enough. And then what we can do is we can remove that, remove this, and then we can put that park fence all the way over to the side of the parking lot here. Down, there we go. Actually, we'll see if we can't adjust that a little bit more. Um, I'm thinking maybe fence it off up to there. So something like this. And then we can do like a gate over to here. That would probably work a little bit better. And let's see. Okay, for the high school, so this is going to be a little bit different. We're going to need to turn on grids and stuff first. Probably have to, um, I'd say about this much. So that would be more appropriate for that size of a school. Maybe a little bit larger. So turn off road guides.
So I got those schools done. Uh, we got uh, still need we still need to put in the roads. I've been basically setting up a um, dedicated turning lanes for turning onto this road and this road over here so they can change either direction. Uh, the only downside with this is there isn't like a three lane one, unfortunately, but um, we'll have to kind of plan out where we're going to be putting our roads on this side, I guess. Um, that might take a little bit of time to do, but you know, we'll figure it out eventually. And the other thing that I worked on was this area. There's still a pretty high demand for, um, workers for industrial, but we got this nice little neighborhood in here set up. Uh, what else do we do? Uh, we got the ferry service all set up over here. Oh, we got a power outage. Let me just fix that up. Let's, re let's remove that. And we'll put that in here. I think what happened was the, um... Oh, I need to be a little bit higher, I think. Um, what happened was there's a lightning strike, probably. So put it there. We'll have to kind of like go over, I guess. <laughs> Something like that should do. Okay, yeah, so, um, yeah, we worked on the um, highway system for the transit. Looks like a lot of people are using the parking and stuff, which is great. Though it is backed up pretty badly, so we'll have to see if we can't fix some of that. I wasn't expecting that much traffic, to tell you the truth. I'm not sure why there's so much traffic going through these areas. Um, we'll have to figure why that's the case. It looks like a lot of pedestrian vehicles going through here. We got trains. Ah, yeah, it's the trains, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably the trains. Okay, we'll have to go under the trains the next episode, but if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.